Hello and welcome to another exciting episode. I am your host Kushal Lodha, founder of Kegar, an education company in financial literacy. So Kushal, let's start with the basics. What exactly are options Greeks? Options Greeks are financial measures that help traders understand how different factors affect the price of an options contract. The main Greeks are delta, gamma, theta, and vega. Great analogy. Let's start with delta. What is delta? How is it calculated and how does it affect options pricing? Sure. Delta measures the sensitivity of an options price to changes in the price of the underlying asset. It is the change in the price of the option for a unit change in the price of the underlying asset. The formula for delta is the change in the options price divided by the change in the underlying assets price. For example, let's say we have a call option on stock X currently trading at 2500 rupees per share if the option price increases by rupees 6 for every rupees 10 increase in the stock price the delta is 0.6 which is 6 divided by 10 imagine you are climbing a hill delta tells you the steepness of the hill at any point a high delta means a steep hill where small steps result in significant elevation gain while a low delta means a gentle slope and what about gamma how is it calculated how does it come into play and how do we interpret high and low gamma gamma measures the rate of change of delta with respect to changes in the underlying assets price the formula for gamma is the change in delta divided by the change in the underlying assets price suppose we have a call option on stock y currently trading at 1500 rupees per share If the delta changes from 0.5 to 0.55 when the stock price is increases by rupees 10 the gamma is 0.005 which is 0.05 divided by 10 if delta is the steepness of the hill gamma tells you how that steepness changes as you move up or down the hill a high gamma means delta changes rapidly making the options price more sensitive to the underlying assets movements It is like driving a car with a sensitive accelerator. A slight press can make a big difference in the speed. High gamma indicates more significant changes in delta, making the option more responsive to price movements. And low gamma suggests smaller changes in delta, providing more stability. Okay, and what about theta? How is it calculated? How does time decay affect options pricing? And how should traders interpret high and low theta? Theta measures the rate at which an options price declines as it approaches expiration. The formula for theta is the change in the options price divided by the change in the time to expiration. Let's say we have a call option on stock X. This option has 30 days to expiration. If the options price decreases by rupees 1 every single day, the theta is minus 1. Think of theta as the melting of an ice cream cone on a very hot day. as time passes the ice cream which is the options value melts away regardless of what you do the closer you are to the expiration date the faster the melting high theta means the option is losing value quickly as time passes which can be beneficial for sellers who want to capture premium very quickly low theta suggests slower time decay which can be advantageous for buyers holding options for longer periods One of the factors that affects the value of an option is time to expiration. The longer the time to expiration, the higher is the value of an option. And therefore, as the date of expiry of an option nears, its value goes down. And finally, vega. How is vega calculated? How does it impact options pricing? And how do we interpret high and low vega? Vega measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in the volatility of the underlying asset. The formula for vega is the change in the options price divided by the change in the volatility of the underlying asset. For example, let's say we have a call option on stock Y. If the options price increases by rupees 2 for every 1% increase in volatility, the vega is 2 in this case. Imagine you are on a roller coaster. Vega tells you how thrilling the ride is expected to be. Higher volatility means more ups and downs. increasing the excitement and risk which in turn increases the options price high vega means the options price is highly sensitive to volatility changes 
making it more valuable in volatile markets. Those are some great metaphors. Can you give us some practical examples of how traders use these Greeks? Absolutely. I know आपको थोड़ा complicated लग रहा होगा, but make sure to watch this video so that you understand all these terms. Let's consider an example with delta. If you are bullish on stock Y, you might buy a call option with a high delta to benefit from upward price movements. Conversely, if you are bearish, you'd buy a put option with a high delta. For gamma. Traders often look at it when managing delta neutral portfolios. A delta neutral portfolio is one whose value remains unchanged for small changes in the value of the underlying asset. Gamma is used while deciding on the composition of the delta neutral portfolio. Theta helps in determining the price or value of an option at any given time. Vega can help option traders in determining how the value of an option will change. With change in the volatility of the underlying asset. These are really insightful examples. Any other tips on how to use Greeks effectively in trading? One important tip is to use Greeks in combination rather than isolation. For example, an option with high delta and high gamma can be very sensitive to price changes, which might be good for short-term trading but risky for longer-term strategies. Also, keep an eye on theta if you're holding options close to expiration. The time decay can erode your profits quickly, so plan your trades accordingly. Lastly, always monitor Vega, especially in earning season or during major economic events. Sudden volatility changes can significantly impact your option prices. This has been incredibly enlightening, Kushal. Any final thoughts for our listeners? The Greeks provide valuable insights. but they should be used as part of a broader strategy that includes market analysis risk management and disciplined trading always keep learning and adapting to stay ahead in the game thank you so much kushal for sharing your expertise with us today i'm sure our listeners have gained valuable insights into options greeks and their impact on pricing thank you for having me it's been a pleasure discussing these important topics with you Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.